Okay, so I'm going to completely uh, reformat my uh, laptop and install the uh, latest Mac operating system, which is Big Sur uh, with version uh, 11.0.1. Um, so I've waited a little while to put it on because I've been busy uh, sorting things out and doing things. So I previously I did a time machine backup of my system, uh, which is finished. I'm now creating a bootable um, USB drive, which is just completed now. And uh, I'm following the instructions on uh, the MacPo uh, website, which gave me the you know, terminal commands and things like that that I needed to use. The bootable USB is done. So, um, Right, I'm gonna jump into it. Okay, the next step here on the uh, MacPaul website is to um, restart your system in recovery mode by holding down the keys, uh, Command and R, when you restart. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's restart and So once the machine's restarting, hold down command and R. This takes you into the recovery mode, and uh, from there you can go into um, the security settings uh, in the utilities menu, and allow you to. Uh, enable booting from an external hard drive before you reformat your hard drive to install the operating system. Uh, if you do not do this, uh, you end up in a situation where uh, you will get stuck in kind of a cyclical repeat pattern where it will not allow you to boot from the external hard drive or it won't allow you to change the settings afterwards because you no longer have an administrator account on your machine. So therefore you can't change the security settings, meaning you have to reinstall an older version of the operating system and um, create an account in order to go in and change security settings, which is what I ended up having to do, but I've skipped that part here. Uh, but I've put it on the end of the video, so if you wanna see that, things and the error messages uh, that's at the end of the video showing you where I messed up. So we go into uh, disk utility and we just uh, go to our partitions set them back to one because I did have a boot camp and a regular uh, setup on this. Um, I created a, and then I uh, just erased the disk and then after erasing the disk I chose uh, you know, install operating system um, or it wouldn't let me do anything from that so you actually have to physically restart the machine hold down option so that you can choose your uh, disk, the target disk that you want to boot the operating system from and when uh, the computer restarts you then have the two options available and you just select that you want to install the operating system from the external hard drive and hit enter or click on the arrow underneath and it will load in the uh, recovery uh, software for this which will allow you again you could do the recovery part first and then do the erasing of the hard drive first before installing by because I already erased it I just then we need to reinstall uh, or 
install the new operating system. Then you select which drive you want to install it on, which usually defaults to the hard drive called Macintosh hard drive. And then, uh, yeah, it takes its time, restarts a few times um, as it goes through. I've sped up this section just so that you at least get an idea of what uh, is happening within the system. Takes about 20 minutes or so to uh, install, and there's several restarts. Once the system is restarted several times, uh, you will be greeted by the um, setup screen. You just pick your country, go through the usual setup, add in your details, you know, uh, iCloud or anything like that. If you want to migrate across your things, which I decided not to migrate anything across um, and manually copied my files over later. Uh, my Apple ID, uh, putting in settings which it then sent confirmation, two-step verification to my uh, mobile phone so that I could do that and then basically created a completely new account and once to finish taking my fingerprint ID um, it was pretty much ready to uh, uh, to go, I just needed to copy the files over, and uh, and that was it. We were back up and running, everything successfully done, and uh, yeah. And there we are now in the new operating system. Um, everything worked well. So now all that's left to do is to restart the machine and then hold Command and R when it restarts in order to go into recovery mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to disable a uh, boot from external hard drive putting our security chip back to its original um, setting. So we go to the utilities menu again and we uh, select the uh, secu startup security utility and you need to put in the uh, you know password from the new user that you created so you can access that and then you are switching from uh, the external and removable media to disabled back to disabled where it was when we uh, first started to install the system. And then once that's done, you just need to hit restart again and wait for your system to boot back up. And there we are, everything's back up and running as it was before. Um, yeah, so, that's it, the security is re-enabled and we're ready to go. Yeah, so I'm just copying the last files over now. Um, everything's gone fairly smoothly. Bit of a hiccup at the beginning when I didn't have um, the uh, T2 security chip. I didn't have boot from external drive switched on. So after I reformatted my hard drive and when I went into fix it, it, uh, it wouldn't allow me to boot up and install the operating system so I had to install the old operating system again and create a new administrator 
then switch off the boot from external hard drive and then go back and clean the hard drive and reinstall. But once I've done that, everything's installed fine, most things appear to be working okay and I'll come back with a uh, more of a review later once I've done a bit of bit of work, a bit of editing on Big Sur and uh, and see how it behaves. So here's where uh, I'm gonna take you through uh, what happened when I didn't uh, disable the the T2 security chip first. So in my initial login, as you can see, I go in, I repartition my hard drive, I erase it, and then I try to install the operating system, and it tells me Catalina. So I then go in and try and adjust the security settings and it tells me that I need to be an administrator. So I try restarting and using option uh, to select my boot disk and it gives me the errors that uh, I need to authenticate as an administrator to change the boot, which obviously I can't do. As you can see there's some uh, blue screens popping up on there, that's from the old bootcamp install where it's trying to uh, load Windows. It's no longer on there because of the um, uh, formatting that I did and the unpartitioning. Anyways, uh, I hope you found this guide helpful and I hope it stops you getting stuck into this uh, loop that I got stuck in. And uh, thank you for watching.